So let's get started. As usual, since we'll be using Disk Utility, make sure you have or made a backup of your system hard drive or drives before proceeding. Continuing on, after inserting the SSD in an available USB socket, open Disk Utility. Now, click on the SSD header in the sidebar, then click the partition button shown here. To create an additional partition, click the plus sign button shown here and then name the partition to whatever you like and make sure that the default format is OS X Extended Journals. Alternatively, to delete the partition, simply click the minus button. Once satisfied with your choice, click the apply button to create the new partition. Now, close this utility and simply launch the Mac OS El Capitan installer and choose to install on the newly created partition, which, in my case, is named Mac OS El Capitan SSD. The remaining installation process is exactly the same as was shown in the previous episode. In summary, after the installation process has finished, El Capitan boots to the desktop, where you can optionally set the default startup disk to that of your Mac system drive after turning on your Mac. Once that's taken care of, anytime you want to run Mac OS Sierra or El Capitan from the SSD, simply shut down the Mac and proceed with the power and option key combination to boot to the startup manager and click the Mac OS on the SSD that you want to boot to.